Good kitten internet. Today we're going to start our Might Magic 8 journey. Um, this episode is the character creation and character explanation episode, hence why it's episode zero. So if you want to skip this episode, feel free. Uh, there won't be any plot content to this whatsoever. That will start the next episode. So let's go ahead and get right to it. And as usual, I'll let the videos play this time. 3DO. Galaxy one front for me. There we go. Stupid god galaxy. Last John Van Carnham production game, if I remember right. Um Sudam's the name of the continent, Raven Shore is the name of the city, by the way. Then there's this guy. Whoa. And volcanic eruption. And there's air spirits flying around. And the poor minotaurs are going for a swim. Glug, glug, glug. And the trolls get lit on fire. Believe it or not, unlike every other Might and Magic game that you've watched me play so far, all two of the other ones, the opening video is actually relevant in this game. Ah, camera is off center slightly. There we go. Um, so it's actually relevant. Those are things that have actually happened. Yeah, that's about the best way I can describe it. So, yay. Um, A plus on the video this time. If, I don't want to say F minus on the rest of the game. That's that's not fair. So, my Magic 8 has several changes to the formula that 6 and 7 were using. But it's still using the same game engine. So you'll see a lot of similar visuals, but there's a lot of differences. And the first difference is that you'll notice that we're only creating one character. And the reason why we're only creating one character is that we recruit the rest of our party. So, um, before I go through our character option... Ang... Angibria? Angbria? Not a name I've heard of before, but anyway. Before we go through our options, which you'll notice that they actually have stats and skills selected for us, let's go ahead and start with our slideshow. Oh. Right. You remember this triangle, right? Right, Boo Kitty? Can you come up and say hi, Boo? Meow. How about you say hi for the camera? There we go. So, the Triangle of Doom, um, where we explain to our characters again. So, we've got the three base characters of Might Magic 6, 7, and 8. You have Knight, Cleric, and Sir... Uh, I mean, uh, Necromancer. Yeah. So they rename the Sorcerer Necromancer. Okay. Fine. So from here we've got the secondary classes. Uh, Archer, Druid, and Paladin. Uh, except they renamed the Archer to be Dark Elf and the Paladin to be Vampire for some reason. Okay. So traditionally... A archer would be half knight, half sorcerer. In this case, a dark elf is half knight, half necromancer. A vampire is half knight, half cleric. And there is no druid equivalent. They actually remove druid. I mean, I was complaining about them this entire time, so I guess that's fair. And so in Might Magic 7, you had some extra classes. The thief, monk, and ranger. Well, Might Magic 8 doesn't quite have that. Um, yeah, what in the world are they doing at this point? Uh, so there's no ranger equivalent, there's no thief equivalent, 
there is a monk equivalent called the Minotaur, and there's also a troll which has no magic, just like the knight, and something completely different that's not even on my triangle. The... <sighs> Home. Home. Home like Bukini. Bukini's not calm. Yep. So this is actually what the um, tree looks like. For reference, SCD stands for something completely different. That's a spoiler. We'll get to that a bit later. Um, so this is our actual triangle. The triangle mapping doesn't really work anymore as a result because uh, they just stopped trying to balance the game. So our classes that we can choose in the beginning, we can't choose the something completely different to start. And for those of you watching that know Might Magic 8, please don't spoil it for the episodes until we get to see it. I want to have at least some form of surprise for some people. So <clears throat> we have Knight, which Knights are human. Oh, I should mention, unlike Might Magic 7, they went back to not having races, except you'll notice some of those classes are totally races. And... Uh... Might Magic 8, what did you do to my poor Might Magic series? Anyway, so we've got Knight, Cleric, Necromancer. Um, those are the three base classes. Now, in Might Magic 8, well, I'll explain when I actually go through each of those. Um, those are, Necromancer and Cleric are our sole mage classes. Uh, Dark Elves and Vampires also have magic, and Minotaurs have a crappy amount of magic. But really, it's Necromancers and Clerics. Um, and the something completely different is even further above on that triangle than the knight and troll. Yeah, let me just close this and get back to here. So, um, we've got a, so unlike before, our portraits are linked to their class. So for instance, I will you could do worse. See, so my strength will first prepare. we've got the knight. The knight works basically exactly like Might Magic 6 and Might Magic 7. There's zero differences. Um, this game does use the Grand Mastery system. So as you as I right click, you can see that um, it works the same way. They didn't change much. And then you've got some skills. Hey, look, there's axes and spears and yeah, that's really about it. Um, you've got serve. a troll. Trolls are our first new class. Um, trolls are a lot like knights, except they are less squishy and hurt less. Yeah, that's really about the only difference. So their primary weapon is a mace rather than a sword, which is a nice change of pace, if I do say so myself. Before, paladins were the ones that used maces, and our paladin equivalent does not use maces in this case. Um... And these are actually fighter-like, so that would actually be nice. They also have the regeneration skill, which allows them to regenerate hit points, which is a brand new skill to Might Magic 8. Um, there's very few brand new skills, but that's one of them. This effectively works like the regen spell. Yep. Um, normal expert and master level of regen skill, if I remember right, correspond to expert master and grand master of the spell. Really about it. Uh, yeah, they don't have any other new skills here. You can see that their bow skill is abysmal. Their sword skill is not terrible, but not the greatest. They, however, can Grandmaster Staff. We don't have monks anymore, so the Grand Mastery role lies in troll. Basically, trolls just use blunt objects to go, go troll smash and smash somebody in the face. Um... They are also Grandmasters at Leather Armor, so this was a skill from the Thief class in Might Magic 7. And I think they also have Grandmaster Bodybuilding, was it? Yeah. My and for reference, uh, Knights don't have Grandmaster Bodybuilding anymore, they took it away from Knights. Because Knights needed to be crappier, apparently. Sorry, a friend of mine's texting me, that's why you're potentially hearing some extra noises. You could do worse. Oh yeah. Knights are even crappier than they used to be, and trolls aren't that great either. Me! I will serve me! Me! Oh, Neelix. Or Nelix. 
great. You'll notice you there's a total you of two troll I options, you could do and worse. they are both Me. male presenting. I think. You could do worse. I will conquer. You can mix all of the voices you together. Worse. My strength will prevail. You could do But that's worse. about it. I will conquer. Also, what in the world is with their name generator? Anyway, we've got Minotaurs. Minotaurs work a lot like monks in Might and Magic 7. That is that they don't start with any magic, but on second promotion they can cra cast crappy spells. That's it. However, oh no, sorry, they can actually cast crappy spells to start. That's right. So they go up to expert with grandmaster uh, with your promotion. Uh normal otherwise. And they get to use axes. So we finally have a class that's good with axes that's not called the ranger. Unfortunately, minotaurs are about as bad as a ranger. Um they do get disarm trap, which is interesting. That's a holdover from monk. So it's one of the few ways you can actually disarm trap without a dark elf. Uh yep. They're basically Jack of all trades, master of none. The only thing that they can grandmaster was perception and hold on, I need to look at my notes. One note. And open up my correct notebook. Preparation. I even had a video on this. Um, let's play notes. Might magic gate. Uh Yeah, I don't have them separated out right now. Use web browser. Luckily, you can't see the web browser because spoilers currently on my screen. Uh, not troll, Minotaur. Thank you. Yeah, Minotaurs. So they can Grandmaster Axe and Perception. That's it. They have zero armor skills they can Grandmaster. They only have a single miscellaneous skill and only a single weapon skill. And they're not even close on magic. It's ridiculous. Ugh. Minotaurs are terrible classes. I may pick one up at some point just to show you how bad they are, but no. Me for your quest. Also, choose you'll me. notice choose me. I wanna come along. I can choose me. I can be helpful. Still male visibly male only. I wanna come along. Then you have the Dark Elf. Um I want to go. I want to come yeah. along. I want to. Very want different. I'm ready. Let's go. Select me. I want to go. Very different I styles of along. portraits. I want. I want to. You have just good. You found me. You have just I... I can get the. I want to come along. So, um, dark elves work very similar to the way archers do, except that they have this, which is dark elf ability. Um. The Dark Elf ability allows you to cast certain types of spells. Um, you get one spell per tier. And I'll go over that more later when we actually have a Dark Elf. We're not going to start with the Dark Elf. Otherwise, they work identical to archers. So they have elemental spells. They can sort of... Or no, they can fully disarm trap. They're the ones with Grandmaster Disarm Trap. Uh, I believe they also have... Yeah, Master ID item. Master Leather, Master Dagger, yeah. The only weapon they can Grandmaster is Bow, if I remember right. Um, Double checking really fast. Yeah, they can Grandmaster Bow, they can Grandmaster Dark Elf ability, they can Grandmaster Chainmail, which they can't even start with. Thanks, game. They can Grandmaster Disarm Trap, and they can Grandmaster Merchant. So Dark Elves are actually very useful. Um, you may have noticed that I never played with an archer in Might Magic 6 or 7, and that's because archers aren't very good. In this game, on the other hand, we will absolutely have a Dark Elf in our party. We're just not going to start with one. There's a much better the one done. pretty early on. Select me. I'm ready. Let's go. I am the best. Then we have vampires with I am the best. At your service. He likes the vampire. So, yep, vampires come in two flavors. One... Um, standing at the base of a stairwell looking like, come at me, bro. With a weird amulet. And then, naked. <sighs> anyway, 
I take me. I'm the best. Oh, and some of them come shirtless. Some of them come mostly shirtless. Take me. Anyway, so vampires are interesting in this game. They're effectively paladins. So they start with sword, but they can only master sword because they're actually grandmasters with dagger. But they can also learn spirit magic. So mind, body, and... Or self magic. Mind, body, and spirit. Um, they do not learn light or dark, by the way. None of these classes can learn light or dark. I will mention it when they can. Uh, vampires do get regeneration. Uh, they're up to master level at highest tier, highest promotion, which is nice. And what else do vampires get? Um, I keep having to alt-tab back and forth because the mouse keeps getting captured. That's unfortunate. Um, bam. Bam. Uh, so vampires are grandmasters of dagger, vampire skill, ID monster is the other one. So we want to identify monsters all the way. We're going to need a vampire. And by the way, we will have a vampire in the party. In fact, I think I'm starting as one. No, I'm not starting as one. That's right. I'm the best. I haven't figured that out you yet. You want me. We've got necromancers. The women wear spiders. I've got what it takes. The men look like they... Yeah. Anyway. Want me. So you'll notice that necromancers, even though this is the equivalent of sorcerer, start with dark magic instead of fire. So in Might Magic 8, they actually have basic level of dark and light, just like Might Magic 7, only you can start with it. They've tweaked the pure living snot out of dark magic again, which is most unfortunate. Um, oh, I haven't been mentioning the stats. I am the best. I'm the best. Take me. I'm select me. You'll notice know. that some of the classes have a penalty and a bonus. It's not class, Take it's me. race. So, for Take instance, me. Dark Elves get a penalty to endurance and a bonus to accuracy. And have the whole it takes one point to go up twice thing, just like Might Magic 7. Me Minotaurs have bonus to might, penalty to intellect. Trolls have bonus to might and endurance, penalty to intellect and personality. You could do my strength will prove Knights are human, which means humans are all just average. Is ready. Also, male knights are shirtless. Sometimes they might be wearing three belts, but they are shirtless. My strength will prevail. Competent. Fame and choose me. And the women of whatever the hell clothing that is. Yeah, Bree. You should take me. Clerics. I am the best. You should take so, me. So male clerics look like they're wearing armor. I am pick me. Because they are. My faith is pure. Women clerics are too My special. Is strong. Just go with special. Clerics work the exact same way in this game. The only difference is that you can't grandmaster merchant with one. Yeah, that's it. There's no other differences. So I will serve with the force of darkness. I love that voice. So we need to pick a class at this point. And what I am planning on doing is that oh, let me take a look at my notes. Um Okay. So we're going to have five characters in Might Magic 8, not four. So we're going to have the character class that shall not be named. We're going to have a necromancer, we're going to have a cleric, we're going to have a paladin, and we're going to have a dark elf. That will be our party. It's going to be a very balanced party. However, the vampire versus knight thing is up in the air. Um, vampires are not that great because, well, I mean, they're very powerful weapon-wise. It's more, uh, do I really need a non-spellcaster? That party would kind of be okay. We would have one and a half healers and one and a half elemental users. So, eh, maybe. Anyway, um, we are definitely not going to start with a Dark Elf. And right in the beginning, we can get a Dark Elf, a Necromancer, and a Vampire, and a Cleric. Yeah, 
Um, we're just gonna have to choose one. And I'm thinking. Choose me, player. Pick me. Cho you want me. It is me you want. I am the best. <sighs> I'm debating between starting as a necromancer, which would be possible, just kind of obnoxious, because I get another necromancer to start. It is me. Take me. Or starting as a vampire. I've never started as either one of these, for reference. I think I'm going to end up starting as a vampire? What's their alchemy anyway? Master level. Better than what we had last game. Uh, it's necromancers that get grandmaster, right? What it takes. Yeah. But we're still going to have grandmaster. Uh, so basically what it boils down to is I can create any one of those four classes. And I'm just not going to pick up that other member of the party. Um, at least not when I have a full party. I may swap things around randomly because you can do that in Might Magic 8. The downside is that there are no NPCs, or hirelings, I should say, in Might Magic 8. So we are actually going to need ID item for the first time in this video game series. So I think I am going to choose a vampire. Vampires are fun. Yeah, vampires start with life drain, which is always a fun thing. So she's the starting vampire. Also, why is there a... I, I don't like the aesthetic of this game as much. I'm ready. Let's go. And the sexism's you kind of ridiculous. I, come... Choose me for your quest. I mean... I wanna come along. I can be helpful. So I could start as a minotaur just to throw everybody off. I definitely didn't according to my little stat thing up above. I've got a one note that's keeping track as to what what I'm going to actually have total throughout the group. I didn't start with a vampire according to this. Ah, okay. So let's see. I've got cleric, necromancer, dark elf, class that shall not be named. Those are four. Who's Grandmaster for Chain again? I've already forgotten. Great. I will conquer. I think I might have actually started as a troll. Or had a troll as my last one. Uh, no? No. I don't have any other Grandmaster of weaponry. My blade. Fame and I'm ready to go. You should so. take me. I, am I must not have chosen the last my one. My strength is the night. My strength is the night? Really? Okay. I think I can help you. I'm going to make a necromancer. I think. Alright, this is actually a tough decision, sorry. Oh yeah, necromancer is also good. They made sorcerers better. I really don't understand their balance in this game. Choose me, player. I am the best. It is me you want. I can help. So we can recruit, a, uh, we start being able to recruit a vampire and necromancer. So there's not much of a reason for me to choose one of those two. Everything else there's reason to choose. So let's not do a vampire and necromancer. I'm going to do a cleric. Because team healer My after all. Is pure. Okay. Pick me. I will walk the path. So do I go with Ponytail Lady wearing a diadem? Pick my faith is pure. Pick my spirit is strong. Pick me. You want me. I can help. I am the best. Select me. I want to come along. No. My blade is ready. I'm ready to go. My faith is pure. I will walk the path. Pick me. You want me. I can help. I am the best. I'm going to go with I am the best with the voice. So, um, so we're dealing with yeah, our weapon selection is going to be terrible. That's expected. Um, we will have recovery penalty eliminated, so shield's not a terrible idea. I don't necessarily want to start with it, but in general, shield is not a terrible idea. I could start with learning, though. That's fun. Um... Yeah. 
going to have somebody in the party who's much better at merchant. There's no reason for me to take merchant. No reason for me to take a lot of these, so I'm probably just going to do that. That is the most efficient way of handling it. So yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, Stat-wise, well... Probably that. Yeah. Um, there's not much of a reason for me to touch the rest of the- oh, I don't need it. Definitely do that much. Um, yeah, we're gonna start with that. Um, I'm gonna end this video here. You'll probably see the name change because I'm gonna do a couple of things for a bit. So, yeah, there's not much else to this video. I was just going to explain characters and so on. Hopefully I explained it well enough because, boy, this game. Welcome back to Might Magic, everyone. Talk to you next time.